coffee. Show me the coffee. Good stuff. Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys? Well, we made it home. Um, we delivered in Buffalo, West Virginia, uh, which put us about three hours from the house. Uh, the only reason I came home was because out on the road, uh, every time I tried to go to a dealership to get my Guibo disc, otherwise known as the drive shaft coupler recall done, the dealerships wanted like one or two day in advance notice. And a lot of them were telling me it's going to take five, six, seven hours. That just that's not possible for me. That's too much downtime. I, I gotta, I gotta get it done and get back on the road and get moving. So, I called the dealer here close to home because, like I said, I was only over in West Virginia, three hours away. And they said, "Yeah, come on in next day. We'll get you in and out, a couple hours." So, I I went ahead and did head at home. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and get brand new tires put on my van. I'm, I'm probably drop around a thousand dollars on the tires. I'm going to go one size bigger because as some of you may or may not know, the transits from the factory, the tires that are on them, they're, they're kind of, the van is so big and tall, it just makes the tires look tiny and it just makes everything look really goofy. So I'm going to go up in size and width to try and fill in those wheel wells and make the stance of it look a little better. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of anxious to get that done. So. Uh, so yeah, on that, I'm going to go, I'm going to give me a shower, uh, change my clothes, get all cleaned up, shave, get this mess off my face. Um, we're going to get on down the road. I'll update you guys as the process goes. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you then. We'll see you guys here in a shorty, man. Hey guys, so we're getting ready to go pick up the van. Uh, we dropped it off at a new dealer this time. We did not deal with the regular dealership that I've been dealing with for months and months now. They, uh, they've they been horrible to me. Uh, I'll, never, I'll never go to them again. So right now I'm going to a place called Sarcion Ford. I think that's how you pronounce it, Sarcion. Um, it's out in Atwater, Ohio, or rather Randolph, Ohio. Um, I've, I've heard good things about them. So they just called me. My van is up there. I uh, had the flex disc uh, replaced, the recall, had the wheel seals checked out, the rear differential seals checked, the front and rear, or, uh, front and rear main seals checked, you know, visually. Um, everything's been looked over. They just called me. They said everything looks good. My van's ready to be picked up. They're sending a shuttle out to pick me up right now so I can go get my van. And then I'm going to get on the road and get over to Discount Tire and get me some new tires put on. I'm going to be going with the Coopers. There are several brands and models and, and, and you know, different avenues you can go. I mean, there's tires all the way up to like 250 bucks a piece. There's tires that are like 180 bucks a piece. There's tires that are, I think, around 140, 145 a piece. Um, I'm kind of going mid-range. There's a Cooper tire out there somewhere around $158 a piece. I'm, I'm going to try them out. I mean, uh, that's all I can do. If I find that I'm having issues like some of the other people I've heard about, like some of the other drivers, they've been trying these new tires for the first time on these 17 Transits. They're getting, like one guy, I think he got Michelin's. And he went with 225, 75, 16s. Now, coming on the van from Factor, I think, is a 235. So he went to a 225 on a Michelin to do the same thing I'm trying to do, to, you know, kind of fill that wheel well in, kind of give it a better look. And he says it, it feels like he's all over the road. It's almost like he's on ice, and these are brand new tires. So I don't know if that's a, you know, a bad design, a flaw in the, in the material. I, I don't know what, what's causing it. So I'm going to try out the Coopers. I'm staying away from the Michelins. I'm going to try Coopers. I'm going to give them, you know, a couple weeks to a month, uh, maybe not even that long, see how they feel. If I'm at all unsatisfied, I'll be right back to Discount Tire and I'll try a different model and a different brand. Um, because the last thing I, I need is for a van to feel, you know, shaky, wobbly, like it's on ice or anything, like you're slipping and sliding. So yeah, that's where we stand at this point, man. So I'm waiting on that guy to get here to pick me up. I'm going to go get my van, get on down the road, get these tires done. And we'll keep y'all up there as soon as we know more, man. Y'all be well. We'll see you soon. All right, guys. We just called the uh, the tire shop. They do not have all the tires in stock. I thought they did. They've only got two, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to wait until the morning time get the get the uh, other two tires. They've got them. They've got them on order. They're gonna be delivered to that store. So I'm gonna go up there first thing in the morning and uh, get the tires, get them put on, back in service, hit the road, and start making some more money. Thanksgiving and the holidays is right around the corner, man. So we got to be making that bank as quick as we can. 
So the more we know, man, we'll keep y'all up there. Let you know. We'll see you soon, man. Y'all be well. Good Wednesday morning, y'all. We are currently en route to uh, Discount Tire. Uh, get these tires done. We will keep y'all updated on the status as uh, time goes by here. We will show you a before and an after, show you what the difference is between the factory tires that are on the van versus the bigger tires that I'm purchasing. You know, how it gives it a little bit, you know, meatier of a stance, a little bit better look. So, once we get up here and get this stuff started and you know finalized and everything, we'll we'll take you guys along with us all the way through it, man. So hold tight, man. We'll keep you updated here just a shorty. We'll see you then, man. Man, the gas prices lately are just getting horrible. I came uh, when I did head to Ohio the other day. The prices uh, in Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, I don't know. They're somewhere between 215, 223 get to Ohio man they're almost 260 and it seems like they're just continuously climbing there's the stock the stock stance in my van that's got the factory tires on it still you can see a nice level ground you can see how it looks how puny and small the tires look i'm going to take you right up to the tires and show you what we got on here as you can see the 235 65 16s and these are the original hand cooks from the factory all right so before and after okay here's your before all right let's get her inside and get the afters on see you in a minute all right there's an after you're gonna notice not much has changed. Still got the same tires, just brand new. I'll explain in a minute. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today is Thursday, man. Uh, what are we at right now? November 16th. Uh, it's been a day since I've got my tires on my van. Told y'all I'd get back to you and explain. Um, I was gonna go up another size. However, Discount Tire gave me an issue to where I could not go up another size. Now, could I have went to another shop, you know, and then had them, yeah, I, I could have went around town and, and changed things around a little bit. What they had explained to me is my tires that are on my van are a, uh, what they call a C-series tire, which means, you know, like, like the two rear tires, for example, the stock tires on the van, they're rated for 3,100 pounds. That's per tire. So you have over 6,000 pounds that, you know, load capacity in the back of the van. If you were to go up in size, the 225s that I talked about, they would have what they would have dropped down in the rating, which would have been, um, so they said 3,100, it would have dropped down to 2,600 per tire, which would have put it slightly over 5,000 pounds. The vehicle, the tag on the vehicle doesn't special you know doesn't allow that per se the the sticker on there says basically what the factory tires are and discount tire will not go against that sticker um they, they almost did when i first went there and told them what tires i'd wanted they was like okay you know yada yada and i started talking about the recall on that van the drive shaft coupler and I, you know picking his brain trying to see if he knew anything like would a, a taller bigger tire affect anything as far as the stands raising the revolutions of the axle or the drive shaft, the rear differential, would it would it put any extra pressure or tension on any of those moving parts? Would it stress out that coupler sooner? Would it put more stress on it being a taller, bigger tire? I'm not sure exactly the science behind it. I wanted to see if he knew any information regarding all that. And once I started asking him, he, his eyes got kind of big and he, he, he backed away from wanting to sell me the, up, the upgraded tires, the bigger tires. So I had to go with my stock tires, but I still went with the Coopers. 
I paid uh, between $720 and $730 for uh, four of the tires. So they are brand new, factory size tire. I was gonna go, like I said, I was gonna go bigger. I was hoping to, you know, change the appearance, the look, uh, fill in the wheel well some of the van, but you know, such is life, it happens. It's probably for the better. You don't, you don't wanna change anything too drastically. Again, this is a work van. It's not a hot rod, it's not a show car, it's not something out there that you're showing off and you know, even though you want to make a good impression, you want to be professional, you know, make it look clean, good. You know, I, I guess there's a there's a fine line that you gotta you gotta stay at, and you know, for safety reasons. So, in a nutshell, safety, uh, stock tires. That's what we stayed with, man. So there you go. Uh, maybe next time we'll go somewhere else and try it. But until then, uh, we're gonna stick with what we got. All right. However, there was an issue that came up yesterday. A buddy of mine, Charles, he had an issue with a van of his. He has a transit as well. His throttle body went out. He has like between 100 and 110,000 miles on his van, I think. I know it's in that vicinity. I might be off one or 2,000. But um, his throttle body went out, which would have costed about five or 600 bucks. So I just wanted to kind of bring us up to you guys, any of you other drivers out there that are driving those transits. You get up around 100,000. This is like the third time I've heard from a person who got up over 100,000. Their throttle body went out on their vans in the transit so uh, be prepared for that i'm i'm currently around 94 so i'm i'm creeping up on that so it's got me kind of worried and nervous so we're gonna do our best to take care of the van and then hope we don't have to cross that path for a while so on that guys there's the updates that's what's going on with me i'm still at home as you can see i'm waiting on dispatch to find me a load get me on down the road because i need to make some money before thanksgiving and christmas gets here because i mean it's only like a week or so away i want to be right back home for the thanksgiving feast with the family and friends so i want to get my wheels moving man hey y'all be good i'm gonna get out of here i'll keep you updated as we get on down the road what's going on with us i hope everybody's well that way and just in case we don't see you which i'm sure we will y'all have a great thanksgiving y'all be safe enjoy the family and friends and all the food man we'll see y'all real soon we'll see you bye Thank you.